right there in the middle of the screen there's a wolf sorry it's so shaky oh there's two there's three total my uncle just seen them i'm gonna try and make a move on them so i'm putting a move on these three wolves <clears throat> Last winter, my uncle seen the same pack. He was cruising through here today, working, and uh, called me about 30 minutes ago and said he seen him. So come up in here, I'm trying to get this creek bottom and uh, put a stock on him. Try and get as close as possible. That way I can get within. Okay. 600 yards of where they are right now hopefully I can get there without them spooking and then uh, set up and call these wolves ain't dumb definitely one of the hardest animals I've ever hunted so I'm going to get here in this burnt creek bottom see if I can't glass them up I just seen them a minute ago they were down here in this creek bottom last night or this morning. Big dog tracks. So I'll show you guys where they are from here. I got this opening I need to get across. I'll probably go back side of this ridge, get up in them trees. The wolves are right up on that top. Out. you can see anything but I'm gonna glass them real quick hopefully they're down and the, there's a little ravine they were walking into hopefully they get out of sight so I can boogie over there okay so they just went down in that ravine I'll get over in this next draw over from them I put the same stock on them last year and uh, <clears throat> set up to call they were in this next draw over and ended up calling in a coyote and it was zero degrees out me and my little boy were up here and I ended up calling in a coyote that morning or that evening down in that ravine here run across this flat hopefully they don't see me they don't come into the call hopefully I can get within at least 600 yards shooting a Seiko A7 chambered in a 308 it's deadly at 600 yards for the shot we've taken with it was bull elk at 635 yards my little boy he was eight years old at the time last fall shot us first elk with it my girlfriend Kels is shot first time ever shooting it she threw a coffee coffee can sized group at 620 yards I've taken bucks at 500 with it uh, all this boy just shot a mule deer at 400 yards with it that video is up on our channel if you want to check it out but <sighs> fingers crossed be awesome to get a wolf be cool to pull off a triple stay tuned well I think these wolves went up over the top I'll get to about six eight hundred yards of where I last seen them make sure they ain't there and then if I think they did go over I'll uh, hike up to where I last seen them and uh, break over the top there. 
might be fast action, might not get it on video, but I'm gonna try. in there the wolves are right there but they went over I want to get up right of that single pine tree right there maybe set up and call we'll see just gonna keep moving forward so there's the manhole there's three of them that I can see kind of hoping they spook out to the left or right the wolves last I seen them they was going in the top of that being right there. Almost 100% positive they crossed over. Oh, there's more antelope than that. Hopefully. There's four there. No, there's three. Oh, no, there's four. Them wolves are standing right with them. Oh, there's five. Right where the antelope were when my uncle took pictures of them or video <clears throat> i'll add them in got you again three wolves stuck in the antelope Sorry for my breathing. Already ran about a mile, mile and a half. I'm gonna see what these antelope do. I might try and ease up on that top. Wish there's a little bit taller rock up here on this ridge so I could sit down and be able to watch both sides bad thing is any cover i gotta lay down if i lay down i won't be able to see some things there's another road on that in that next canyon over and i could probably get a eight nine hundred yard shot but bad thing is i don't know if the wolves went to the right went to the left minute I cruise up that road they're gonna spook there's six antelope there well stay tuned there's two in the back are some nice bucks there's nine there total let's see how far they are Can't pick it up. Two sixty two. So if I call them wolves over the top, you know, and they'd be three twenty five or so, that won't be bad of a poke. But yeah, there's two nice bugs. We did not have an antelope season. The Colville tribe introduce these antelope here and they're starting to thrive so it's good to see anyway i'm gonna wait till they get down out of the way and then i'm gonna go up on that top this buck's about 150 yards from me those are the eight antelope went down in the draw Wait, don't 
just poop them wolves. Just trying to save you guys' life. and two bucks. It's pretty dandy bucks. Not very savvy on scoring antelope, but from what I've seen on videos, they're good average bucks, that's for sure. This spring when me and Rich did that ceremony, oh, don't go up that way, shit. and I did that ceremonial hunt we seen a big big buck just up the canyon from here sorry if the footage is shaky I've walked a long ways ain't that a pretty sight straight line that's for sure <laughs> pretty cool all right let's go chase these wolves these old can of trick boots are about wore out on my boots and whole butt fingers crossed fingers crossed Wolves hit that trail and went that way. You know, so keep it in here in the shade. Some horses. Yeah, I'm betting the wolves went to the right.
have no cover right here. They could either drop down in this draw, or like I said, went over there to the right. But I'm gonna try and help. these antelope come up out of this draw and these horses are right down in there it makes me think these wolves went east so I'm gonna get over there to where I can see over that other side hopefully they don't bust me when I go through this draw <laughs> Let me have a look. yeah see there's some horses there there's horses there and that's where the antelope come out was that ridge I was just on. So I can almost guarantee you them wolves come around this top. Just jumped on this backside and headed east. And there goes them horses. Let's spook the wolves out of here. Dang it. So when I first got up here, I held about five minutes ago, and uh, there was some moo cows down here in the bottom. And uh, right before the moo cows started bellering and stuff, I swore I heard some wolves down there. You know, my, my howl echoed through that canyon, but this was a long while after I held. That I thought I heard them wolves and then them cows started going nuts down there so we're gonna hang tight I'm right in the wide open but they poke out here this side of them trees you know I have probably a 300 yard shot so stay tuned we'll see you It's funny, I don't hear no echoes now. Come running from behind me and jump on my back.
that is very possible. The wolves just made a loop around this knob and went back in that next draw over from where they was. Hopefully they don't blindside me from my right. Cause then it's only about 15 yards before I can see them. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna keep calling. I think I can hear something on the backside, almost where I just came from. This has got me stumped because where the wolves went up over when I last seen them, there was still horses there. There was still antelope there. And then where I thought they could have went, there was farm cows. So I don't know if they went up and circled around that knob maybe. I don't know. It's got me stumped. wide open and you still can't find them <laughs> came close came close you know, I kind of wished I would have done things a little differently so my uncle sent me videos of right where they were and when you first pull up in that road, there's a little bit of a knob there. I thought I would stay out of sight if I parked my truck right there. And this is two miles away. And, uh, Anyway, what I was saying was, it's probably two miles away, and you know, they were just playing around right there, and then they just started slowly walking up the hill. They didn't look spooked, but uh, yeah, I don't know. They're smart, that's for sure. So anyway, I'm gonna put stuff away, unload the rifle. I might walk. I don't know if I should go up on that top to see everything. Here are dogs down there at that house. I don't know. I'll probably hang out for a minute and do some glassing. So, don't see anything. I guess we'll see you at the truck. Hell, now one of them coyotes was down there going nuts. Bunch of antelope again. I see them nine come around that side and up with these ones. Truck's way down there. Well, that was an unsuccessful hunt, but a successful walk. Got to see three wolves this morning. Uh, my uncle, he called me. I just got the kids dropped off at school and 
was going to go uh, load up a saw or two and go do a tree removal today. And uh, he said them wolves are stalking these antelope over there, which you guys seen in a video, these antelope. Uh, so I grabbed the gun, my boot, threw my boots on, my hunting pants, just because they're easier walking in. And hauled butt up here. We live about a half hour away. And I pulled in here. I kind of forgot the layout of the land and I thought if I stayed back far enough on this road I could peek in and glass and see if the wolves are still up on that top which they were about two miles away and uh they were just sitting there so I pulled off and then uh right when I pulled off I don't know if they heard the truck shut off or what and they kind of started walking around walking circles and then they started walking up they weren't running or anything and they broke over the top so I ran up that ridge line and uh crossed over where they crossed over couldn't find no tracks or anything and just uh you know these wolves are the hardest animal I've ever hunted that's an understatement <laughs> but if you like this kind of content we're gonna get into the wolves this winter I'll guarantee that um getting my uh, snare building stuff ordered. I'm going to run a bunch of wolf snares this winter, just like we did last winter. Last winter was kind of a learning curve. I never really trapped wolves. I trapped uh, coyotes, bobcat, everything like that, and uh, ended up snaring that one wolf right at the end of the season, and it chewed out. Um, wasn't really dealing with wolf gear. Didn't have a wolf gear set up. I was mainly running bobcat snares. Uh, my buddy Peach was running all the wolf snares and yeah, some of the snares he had were a little bit lighter than what we'd normally like. So going to run 330 seconds this winter for wolves uh, with kill springs on them. So once that stuff gets ordered, I will do some snare building videos on the channel so you guys can see how I build my wolf and bobcat snares. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, if you guys like this kind of content, stay tuned. We're going to get into some wolves sooner or later. Um, came close today. If I uh, would have took a little bit different approach on them, we might have got one. But it, that's why it's called hunting, not killing. Um, they're a very, very smart, smart animal. Um, before all the do-gooders and animal rights activists start bumping their gums. I do. I love wolves. Um, they're they're awesome animal and we do need them for management, you know, but to go and say they only take out the sick and weak No They take down anything they want in their path, you know, they need to be managed before there's no ungulate Population um, Yeah, so I'm all about managing some predators Thanks to my tribe Colville tribe for introducing them antelope here they're awesome to see there was quite a few you guys seen in the video there's a couple nice bucks from what i've seen on tv i've never hunted antelope now when i lived in montana one of my uh co-workers he shot one and it i didn't really care for the antelope meat but then again it was it might have been the way we prepared it so i hear a lot of guys say it's really good but looking forward to maybe having a season on them hopefully in the near future and get to shoot one that would be pretty cool so anyway thank you folks for watching wish you good health and happiness as always i'm gonna get home throw a saw in and go do a tree removal so i don't know if i'm gonna video that or not i might might not so anyway over and out so in case any of you folks are wondering there's always people who ask even though i mentioned stuff in the videos seiko a7 stainless chambered in 308 Vortex Viper, six by 24 by 50, running 168 grain Hornady's. Vortex Diamondback, 10 by 42s. Those are the HD. Those are the ones are Kelsey's. Uh, when she doesn't go with me, I take hers because they're a little more clear. Uh, Vortex Ranger, 1300 rangefinder. Alaska Guide Creation. Kelsey bought me that for Christmas, I believe. Um, can't say enough good things about that it does want to ride a little bit low but you just cinch it up as much as it'll go and it sits fine i like the way it sits uh 
I can't remember. I think that is the, is it the Kodiak or something like that? But it has side pockets, pocket underneath, pocket in the front, and then a pouch for the binos. But that's the gear I'm running. So I always get questions about that. So Kenna Trek boots, Kuyu camo. That's about it. I'll have to do a video on my bow. I've told a few people about it on the channel, but everybody seems to like the gear review or gear content. So I'll have to do one on that as well.